we go. Playing in the Bronx yesterday. Sweet. I just, okay, uh, I think I see uh, Winston. Uh, is that you, Winston, there? Yeah, Winston went to New York uh, on Thursday. When, yeah. So I presume he was going to see the, the, uh, the Jays play, obviously. Uh, I didn't, was that you? I did know that they were going to be there because all of you amazing people on Twitter tweeted me saying, hey, you're in New York, are you going to be at the games? And I said no. I, I was by myself. It felt, like a, it felt kind of pathetic just going by myself. No, that's all right. That's all right. I mean, it was, can we roll that viz again? Would you mind, uh, Nicole, just for a second? I regret it. I, I just, regret I just going uh, Put it in here. Put it in the monitor if you could, Nicole. Put it in the monitor for a quick second. I want to show you something. Take a look at this. Look, look over here. Look over here. Empty seats, empty seats, yeah, empty seats, empty seats. You, you could have gotten I in. I could have laid down on the three of those chairs. All right. Well, well, so anyways, that's my excuse. I was by myself, <laughs> and I didn't want to be that pathetic guy sitting in the block. Because I don't think you're going to get a ticket at Rogers Center. No, no. Uh, and no. I know a few people who are going, and they snag the tickets up months in advance uh, at a relatively good price because they bought it early on, but now they're going for quite, quite a bit of money. And what better day to have... Uh, Joey Bats uh, himself on Breakfast Television a little later on this morning. That's right. Hashtag Joey Bats on BT. Um, we're going to also uh, give you a little behind the scenes look on the BT Periscope as well. So be sure to follow us on the BT Periscope be at BT Toronto. Uh, and we're going to also get that going. Follow Winston as well. You get such great Instagram pictures as. Oh, I wanted makes, to see some of your vacation pictures. Let's everybody see. makes. You asked me to pull this up. Everybody yes, makes I fun of me because I post up. a lot of photos of myself, oddly well, enough. Well, that's what Instagram um, is. Yeah, but like I, I was Brooklyn on Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge. I did everything over the weekend. Um, you know, I got to uh, go along the skyline. I stayed in an Airbnb. Have you done an Airbnb before? Never done an Airbnb. A little leery, but it's a little, a little leery. Um, but it's a great, it's a, such a great way to get to know locals. I stayed with, uh, I stayed in Chelsea with a guy named David, actually, um, who uh, owns a place, and uh, I, I rented a room out, and I, 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 it was locked. It's very secure. Very, uh, he was very hospitable. Uh, it, it was a great experience, and I've done Airbnb in a few different so cities: Paris, San Francisco. Tell people how Airbnb works. So you can, you can either rent an apartment. You can rent a room or you can share a room with someone. I'm not really into sharing a room with someone. As I need my own space. Um, so I've rented uh, an apartment before and I've also rented uh, private rooms. And there's been some trouble in, uh, you know. The, New York is having some issues with it as where, well. Where there, there's just some people complaining about it, hotels complaining about it, of course, just like Uber and the taxis. But also there's been some people who have gone and trashed uh, other people's homes yeah. and things like that, which, which is always the risk you run. It's the risk you run when you stay at hotels. It's a risk you run. Uh, uh, you know, wherever you go, but you know, the, it's a great Airbnb is a great way. Once you put aside all the the regulatory stuff that uh, many cities go through, it is a great way to live like a local. You can go grocery yeah. shopping. You can really get to know an area outside of uh, you know those tourist yeah. traps. Very quickly, you did see one trend on the streets of New York that you're starting to see here in Toronto now. You know what? I actually noticed this. It really kind of raised a flag. Uh, Robbie G in in the control room Instagram this not too long ago, but I've I noticed it all over New York. And actually streets of Toronto too. These little gliders that people stand on. Uh, let me see if I can get this video going. Actually, you have to click on it. Um, but people uh, jump on these things. This is neat. And it's like a personal transporter. And it's this like large, it's become, it's a huge tech trend where people are buying these. And for, for a couple hundred dollars, you jump on these and, and, and it so takes you from person to place, or point A to point B. Sort of the next step of the segue. The segue, exactly. Yeah. And, and it's a new class of, uh, of, of transportation. And I think a lot of car How companies much do they go too. For? Uh, a couple hundred to three hundred dollars. Uh, but a lot, lot of car companies are developing these and trying to jump on these as soon as possible because everybody's getting one of these. All right. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank we'll you. be back with more Breakfast Television after this with it's Paul really Blurt cool. uh, 3. Want...